to install FFmpeg, we have to update our package and then I'll install FFmpeg, install FFmpeg-y and it will install FFmpeg on this computer. So let's see what is the version of FFmpeg. And as I can see, the version of FFmpeg is 6.1.1. FFmpeg is a open source tool which can do any kind of video and audio processing like converting, transcoding, streaming, recording and many more. Here I have a file called input.mp4. So I want to know the information about this file. So in that case, I can type ffmpeg hyphen i name of the file i want to see the information about and if i type that i can see that this is a video file which is encoded with avc1 with high baseline and it have a audio which is encoded in advanced audio codec asc format so there are lots of things we can do with FFmpeg like getting media information, converting video format, convert to audio format, resize a video, cut a video, fast forward or slow down a video, merge multiple video, screen recording, re-encoding and many more. So the best thing we can do to learn about using FFmpeg on Linux is we can go to ChatGPT and describe the thing we want to achieve with FFmpeg or anything we want to do with a video and ask ChatGPT to give command to do that. So currently this video is a 4K video. I want to convert this to a 1080p MKV video, right? So in order to do that, let's type here in ChatGPT that so it is giving me a full command how to convert this to a 1080p video. Let's copy this command and go to our terminal and press enter. Since we are re-encoding the video, it will take some time based on your CPU. The video processing is done. If I type ls, I can see that a new video file appeared here as output.mkv. This is just one example of using FFmpeg on Linux. You can manually learn about FFmpeg on their official website like FFmpeg documentation. You can make a 3D movie out of a 4K movie or you can just transcode to 1080p or lower size just with FFmpeg. You can convert your video to audio files, you can merge two video, you can add a banner to your video. Okay, I hope you got the idea how to use FFmpeg.